They came in in the early morning, flying over the sea. It was the most impressive sight because they were all coming in exactly the same direction towards us. When our planes came over to bomb, and they weren't very high, and we stood up and cheered. There were so many bombers that it was like a conveyor belt. The bigger bombers were 12 bombers wide in their formation. And as far as you could see from here directly overhead, for as far as I could see with my binoculars, just bombers. Over 2,000 bombers are sent to carpet bomb the city of Khan. I heard this sound, I looked up, and here comes our bombers. I thought, oh boy, give it to them. So I just took my helmet off and waved and I yelled, give it to them, boys. And the next thing I knew, I, the bombs, uh, doors opened and these things are shrieking down. <laughs> I headed for a little hole in the ground. I dove in there fast. Bombs started to drop, and the dust and that started to come towards us. I said, gee, are those bombs coming towards us? And there's a Sherman tank right in front of me. I zoomed under the Sherman tank. God almighty. I saw the bombers coming over and feel the whole ground shake. Fire and terrible noise. Massive fire power. Four of them dropped the bombs amongst us. They told us that the field we were in was exactly the same shape as the field further on that they were to drop, and that's what caused the mix-up. <laughs> I was so frightened. My hands went into the ground, and here was a potato field. And I don't know how many peck of potatoes I ate, but by God, I was eating potatoes. I was so frightened, you know. I was really scared. On the ground, nowhere is safe. Surviving the bombing is just a matter of luck. <laughs> 